Help! It's all going to shit! Oh. Everything's on fire! I don't... Hello! Ugh! Hi there! Uh... I don't know what's going on. Uh... Now it says I'm not online. It's funny, like the stream health thing on Twitch was like, you're online at zero bit rate. Cool. Uh, and I don't know. Then I closed everything up, ran another speed test, and I was ready to give up. And the speed test came back at full speed uh, instead of like I was just running speed tests over here. And it was like basically a tenth of my... Um, download speed and an upload speed of basically zero uh of like i don't know less than one megabit so it was it was all uh screwed up i don't know uh i don't know if i i don't know what happened <laughs> comcast happened i guess that's how this works right Ugh, that's so frustrating anyway hi hi hey um I was just, uh, I don't know, boning around with some uh, some old video games. Figured I would uh, get up and stream for a little bit. It's, it's Sunday. Ooh, crystals I can put on my network cables? All right, I'm interested in hearing about these crystals. If I can, like a laying of hands. I mean, the, I need a lot. There are a lot of network cables in this room, so I don't, I don't know if I need to put them on all of them or what. Um, but yeah. Uh... So I just, I don't know, some of the stuff I've uh, certainly streamed before, but I don't know, it's just kind of f f boning around, again, like I was saying, with some video games. And thought I would, uh, thought I would play some on the internet. And then the internet was like, no, don't do it, just don't. And I was like, but what if I, but I want to, um... And I uh, kept it going, and here we are. Uh, have I seen the SD to SNES cart? Yeah, yeah. I've seen there's a, there's a bunch of SNES flashcards and stuff like that out there. Yeah. Uh, I don't own uh, an SD to SNES. I had a, I had another flash card that someone sent in in a mail bag uh, that I pulled out recently, and it seems like it broke, but. Um, let's see. Let's get into a little bit of this. If this will load properly. Have I tried... Uh, Project X2. I have not tried Project X2. Uh, I saw it. It looks neat. I wanted to get into some fights. Going for 4,000. I mean, I, I had it at 10,000. Uh... And that's when I started dropping it down because uh, I thought maybe that I was just hitting Twitch too hard. And Twitch was like, dude, what are you doing? Um, so, but it seems like that was a bandwidth thing and, and not. So I, I wonder if I could jack it back up to something like 8 uh, and get it to, you know, because this is 720. Like I was doing 1080 before, but. Uh, 10K pushing it just a little. I mean, I can, ha I can handle 10K. I don't know. Twitch. I want to say we hit Twitch at 10k from the office, but that's a partnered channel and all this other stuff. Anyway, whatever. That's I hit the button, but it didn't go. All right, let's fucking fight. I kicked that guy in the face. I punched that guy in the face.
So I'm trying to figure out, uh, I, so I spent some time this morning editing the wiki for a giant bomb.com. Um, and was comparing it to some stuff, some files I've got here. Uh, and I was looking at international karate here, which is what this is. Um, and like, I'm just not sure sometimes what I'm looking at here because there are a bunch of different, it seems like there's international karate. And there's International Karate Plus, IK Plus. Uh, International Karate came out in the U.S. as World Karate Championship, uh, which is what I played. Actually, IK Plus came out, Activision put it out under the name Chop and Drop, which is a shitty, a shitty name. Um... Oh, I, I hit the wrong, I, no, oh, I screwed that up. The window lost focus. Um, but there's some stuff, uh, so it seems like that there are versions of this that display the background stages in a different order, and one of them is billed as, inter as, as uh, International Karate 2, but I was looking online and I couldn't find any other references to that as like an official released project, like the developer's website just says, hey, it's IK, it's IK+, plus. that's it. Uh, so I assume this happened a lot, in uh, not a lot, well... This happened in, in, in these days, where you would have, like, hackers that would just, like, develop fake sequels to games. And, uh, and put them back out. And I, I want to say that IK2 is, like, just the same game as the first game, but with different background stages. But then this thing I just loaded up is billed as International Karate. And it started with the Egypt stage, whereas... World Karate Championship and some of these other ones starts with the Australia stage. And I'm trying to figure out what the hell's going on with these games. Like, which one of these, you know, which of these are... Oh, man, he's... I got... I got the green belt. This guy's, like, fucking shit up. I just heard a noise. My front door... Uh, it locks fine. But when not locked, sometimes the wind will blow it open. And I heard a noise that sounded like the door cracking open a little bit. So if someone walks in here and... <laughs> the stream ends abruptly. It's either my bandwidth or they finally got me. Ah, man! Alright, I'm gonna go check on that door. You hang out here and listen to this fucking sick beat. So, okay, International Karate, is this the legit version, the version that starts with uh, the pyramids here, or is it, I guess this would be the version to run? Let's see what we get here. Well, this is... Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. That's fucking cool. Just a picture of a helicopter. We cracked this game and thought it would be cool if we inserted a picture of a helicopter here. Unlimited time. Sure. And vulnerability. That's not what that word means, but sure. I'll take it. So this is this is the type of background that I'm a little more used to from playing it on the Atari uh, when I was a kid. Was this, uh, I guess, Australia, right? That's that's the opera, how, the, what is it, Mel Melbourne House? I don't know. You're right, before the internet it was hard to find pictures of helicopters, so getting like a bonus helicopter 
you know, you can't, you can't complain about that. So now when he scores points, he doesn't actually get the points because that's what happens when you cheat. If we hit S and E at the same time, they stop and look at the camera. Why? I don't know. The sound effects in this game are so fucking sick. That, f that fucking, like, the sound of you hitting the ground sounds like it was just stolen out of a Peanuts cartoon. It's like the football gets pulled out and Charlie Brown hits the ground with that same kind of... So now, like, I only, now that we're cheating through this version, I want to see if that Egypt stage is just in it later. Like, I assume that the people that modified the game just changed the order of the background stages rather than coming up with their own. Um, oh! So this game's a lot, obviously, like Karate Champ, uh, which in arcades was a two-joystick game. Uh, here, it's a joystick and a button. So it's, it's a weird, like, you know, you just hit down and back uh, with no button to do that low punch. It's up in the button to do the kick. It's up and to the right to do that punch, and up and to the left to do a punch the other way, so you can kind of turn around. Or it's like, you know, it's, it's up forward to punch and up back to... All right, let's... Ready? All right. And, uh, you know, back in the button does this, this kick here. And you gotta hold him, which is real silly. You know, it's not going to hit, but I can stay in this pose all I want. But yeah, it seems like the only real games are this and IK+. Uh, the, the other stuff is not quite legit. But I'm curious, I, I just don't know which one's the real one. Because, uh, you know, because I don't have an original disc on me and a lot of that stuff's been lost to time. But when it came out in the U.S. as World Karate Championship on the Atari, uh, this was the stage order. It was the, it was the Australia, then New York. Uh, shit. And then IK Plus is a great. I mean, like IK Plus is a like a legendary game. Like this game was popular, but like that was the one years later when people in the UK would write in and be like, "Have you ever heard of this game? It's the fucking greatest game ever made." They were always talking about IK Plus, uh, but which which I had never seen until years later. Uh, oh. Karate Champ popular at all? I mean, it was a popular arcade game, but like, I don't think any of the home versions of it actually captured the the cool stuff about that game. I think that's that's part of that's part of why this game is cool is because it's a good control scheme for a Karate Champ style game uh, that Karate Champ's home ports never really nailed. Um, 
and then also probably benefited in, in in the UK by just like maybe arcade games not being as big over there. So a lot of people that played this had probably never even seen Karate Champ, and they were just fucking probably blown away by everything about it. Uh, shit. I gotta do that low kick. There you go. That's button and down forward. Get ready. What are we doing? Oh god. Nope. Ah! Do I have last battle for the Genesis? Yeah, I do. That game... It's terrible. What do I think of Kung Fu for the NES? I like it a lot. I think that's actually maybe my favorite version of the game. Uh, the arcade version never... Con it just felt stiffer on the controls. Tight controls are a bit laggy. I mean, uh, I mean it, it's probably... A, there's a little bit of, of delay in your control on this. You know, the animations kind of take a little bit of priority. It's the Dark Souls of fighting games, you know. Um... Sounds so good. <laughs> Four nice backdrops per side. Oh. Huh. So maybe they released it as like... Hey, it's the same game on both sides of the disc, but on this side you get these four backgrounds, and on side two you get the other ones? I wonder. I'm, maybe I'm just gonna... I mean, I'm, I'm gonna have to hook up my Commodore and maybe just source an original copy of fucking... International Karate and see what the hell it was, right? Maybe that's where all the confusion comes from. Double cassette, yeah, yeah, it could have been. Well, I wonder. I mean, this is a floppy version of the game here, uh, but I can check and see if there's a tape uh, version. It's just in a different directory. You're right, this is not Way of the Exploding Fist. This is better than that. What about uh, Fist 2? Whatever the fuck that was called. I feel like I played that game recently. Last year sometime. I played much Street Fighter V. I, yeah, when it when it came out, I I probably put a hundred hours into it or something, uh, and then lost interest. I'm only into real fighting games. Like, look at these fucking guys, man. Look at, you know, you get up close. Look at the the interplay between them, man. This is like real fucking martial arts shit. Up here, just busting out moves, hands going everywhere. You know, a proper sports-style scoring system. This is the original eSport, is what I'm saying. We've, we've made it to the end of the soundtrack. Terrible. Haha! <laughs> Walk over there and boot that motherfucker in the face. Alright, uh... So, IK Plus, let's check that out. So this was the follow-up, and, um... 
this game's fucking wild uh, in a way that it seems almost unfair. But then when you watch the the demo, it shows different moves uh, that I, I've not necessarily seen, figured out how to do some of that stuff because I just haven't played a ton of it. Um, but there's some there are some moves in this game that I was very surprised to see. And I don't know if I need to... I, like, I only got a joystick and a button, so I don't know. That's right. Three players at the same time. 1v1v1. And only one background. <laughs> and so in this one, the fight continues until one player gets six points. And so you have to finish at least second uh, to stay in the game. Um, and, and they'll get points off each other. The AI guys will, will get points off each other. Uh, so you kind of have to watch that. We got fucking flip. I don't even know how to do that, man. I don't even know what happened there. I just know blue is fucking everybody up. Okay, so back in the button, they, they got rid of that kick, uh, that wheel kick, and put the backflip in. Deflect balls. Too many balls! Whoa, there's a headbutt! That dude did a fucking headbutt! Yeah, I don't know. This, this action is fucking crazy. Like, it, it, it moves fast, especially for, like, a, a game on this platform, you know. Like, for a, a C64 game, like, it's pretty nuts. Oh, God. See, see he did it. He did it. Blue did it. Um, there's a fucking straight-up jump kick where you put your feet out to both sides. Um, and I don't know how to do it, but that's crazy. There's a, a, a hack version of this. I don't know if it's the Amiga version or what, uh, or a hack of the Amiga version uh, that actually... So you, you can play this two-player, but not three. Uh, and there's a hack that actually lets you play it three-player. They put this game out on GBA, of all things. Like, it, you know, it's kind of like a, hey, it's International Karate is back. Uh, and they did a port for GBA that was, like, pretty good. See, yeah, he did the fucking kick. I'm gonna have to look up the moves list, and, uh, you know. There! I, oh, I, I did the headbutt. Okay, so that's... I'm gonna lose. I don't have any points. I lost.
And then, yeah, that'd be a, yeah, that background animation is smooth as hell. Like, it's obviously really simple, but, like, it, it just runs at full frame rate. It looks really smooth. Oh, that's right. You can also do this. No? Can't you do this? Huh. You could, I think you, there's... I thought if you hit T, it made all their pants fall down. Anyway. Yeah! More balls. Anyway, this game is cool as shit. Like, those fights just look good, you know? Like, the interplay between the three characters, you're like, man, that, that almost looks like some choreographed animated GIF thing, stick fighting, stick figure fighting thing at times. Uh... Yeah, it looks like there are some versions of this on tape, or versions of the first game on tape anyway. Which might just... Oh, this is just that same version, just in tape form instead of disc form. Which is nice, because it loads way faster. Good to see this sick helicopter again. Was Winter Games on other platforms than Apple II? Yeah. Yeah, it was. It was on Commodore 64, for example.
See if we can speed up this load a little bit, huh? Come on. You feel like most Olympics games never live up to their fun potential. Yeah, they're they're not great. Rarely great. Barely even readable. Uh, all right. Let's see here. Hang on. Get this. Hang on. Uh, where's the... Okay, hold up. Man, this menu, like, like the white, uh, it's, you know what, let's just compete in all the events. We're from Epics. It plays the music from Jumpman. Well, I don't, maybe this maybe it's from this. I don't know. It's like a, kind of an epic theme song or something. Is this correct? As correct as it's gonna get. Side one. Okay. All right. Hang on. Mm-hmm. 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 Yep. Okay. All right. And go. These loads. Okay, we saw this. Skip that. Next event, hot dog. Oh, we had to flip over to side one to watch the intro to the Olympics. You understand. Man, that sucks. I just want a hot dog. forget what to do here it's like each each d direction on the joystick does a different trick hey how'd we do I did it, I got the gold medal. Stand for the Epic National Anthem. Biathlon, that's, what is that? That's skiing and shooting, right? I remember this. I remember this sucking. Okay. We got 20 shots. Our pulse is 60. Got to move left and right on the joystick. Rhythmically. Get the pulse rate up, but don't get it too high or your heart 
explodes or something. Uh, go. Dude, go. Yeah. Oh, I gotta hit push down on these downward slopes. I see. I can push down and then up to reload the gun. Get up! The and down, 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 left, right. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Here we go, here we go. Now we're fucking cooking. Now we're cooking. Get going. Finish strong. Come on. Or finish. Period. Stop. Video game. Three minutes. Was this the little biathlon song? Show respect to Jumpman and Jumpman Jr. And the guy that says, stay a while, stay forever. Other important epics leaders. Skating competition, alright. Let's go. What are we what are we looking at here? Oh, we did drop some frames. I wonder if the bandwidth is still fluctuating. Seems okay. Seems like it's... Hmm. 4,000. Well. How do we... Just, just please... Please continue. Oh, is it, it's loading because it's on the same side of the disk. That's why. Okay. No idea what we're doing here. I'm 
I'm pushing the directions on the joystick, but I don't know if that matters. I pushed the button and fell over. Nadia, now! Look at that shit! Perfect. Fucking Canadian judge. I got robbed. Fucking politics. Their financial sanctions against the nation of epics didn't work. Now they have to strike out against our brave nation here at the lip. Mm. Ski jump. Here we go. That sounds like something I could do poorly at. Come back on some I Tanya shit. Okay, we need to get our skis in line. That's bad. Hundred and seventy four seems like a high number. I don't remember how to straighten out. I two I some stuff. We got the gold. We got the gold. <laughs> That's a good crash noise. Speed skating. We'll do well here. This seems like something where you just mash the joystick like a lunatic and win. Ultimately, that's what all of these games were. There were summer games, winter games, um, world games, and then California games, which I think is probably the best one. This is a good little jam. Come on! Oh! What do I push? Okay, it's rhythmic. It's not just mash it out like a lunatic. Yeah! Fuck that other guy. That's right, I said it. This sounds like something you would listen to before engaging in a futuristic death sport. It's like a rollerball theme, you know?
Skating, free. Good, more skating, yeah. Good, 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 good. What? What is it? Wait. We've been robbed. I don't think I actually need to hit the joystick to keep moving. I had been hitting it, but... But maybe I do need to get a few more... pumps in before I try and do a trick. I Maybe you have to time the tricks. Maybe that's what it is. Nope. Mm -hmm. So if I just hit the button, well, I'd push the button and now she's skating backwards. There we go. Looking good. Oh, looking bad. What? These judges don't fucking know style. Bullshit. Them everyone can believe in. Bob sledding. This will go well. All right, Bob Sledden. Oh, I need to. I still had it running in load faster. Good, good. We got it done. No standing for that one.
All right, final standings. Let's see who won. Let's see which country, which nation took it. We're considering adding adding any esports content to Giant Bomb. I mean, look at this. This is the ultimate esport. You know. We did it, everybody. We came together as a nation. Now let's load the opening ceremony again. No. <laughs> uh, I remember world games being better. than winter games. I'm just going to fire that up real quick here. But probably will not play all of world games. What are we doing? Uh... K-Byte programmed this? Weird. That's the K-Byte. They did that um, crazy shootout and some of that other stuff. If, if, if it's the same company, which I don't see why it wouldn't be. Okay. I remember being pretty good at weightlifting and getting okay at bull riding, but I'm really, we're here for, here for the caber toss. Hmm. Let's speed up this load. Oh, here's that travel log I've heard so much about. The Heather Splash spills, it spills. Spills of uh, Scotland are the birthplace of the ancient caper toss and this famous event from Scottish Highland Games athletes lived and throw a tree trunk. The size of a small telephone pole. Cabers can vary in size, but once tossed successfully, they can never be cut. The Bramer caber, one of Scotland's greatest challenges, is 19 feet long and weighs more than 100 pounds. Right Hang on, let me put the disc in. We got it running, but now how do I run? Hmm. 
Well, I suspect... Maybe there's something up. With the official version of that game that might not run right in an emulator. So we will turn to the dark side. Side two, a little bit of this, a little bit of this. What do we got? Yeah, same deal, it just doesn't... trouble getting a run going. Yep. Yeah! We threw that shit! Dance, motherfucker! Not as far. Still, dance, still, dance! Hooray, we did it. What else is going on? In the world of questionable Commodore 64 releases. Hmm. Forbidden Forest, you say? Sure, I am terrible. I, I never, I never quite understood this game. Uh, I don't think, but it's been a long time. There's also like, was it Beyond Forbidden Forest? I should check and see if these games are available on tape instead of always just loading the disc-based game because the tape will always load faster. If I played Zorro, not lately. <laughs> Let's 
level of experience. Let's say innocent. A snake. Oh, get an arrow. God, no! Oh, I need another arrow. We oh, I had the arrow. I thought I needed to load another arrow. fucking snake again. Oh no! If I keep this spider- Oh no! I was gonna say, if I keep the spider on screen the whole time, I it'll never turn around and attack me. I was wrong about the spider thing. I just want to come out and say, I'm sorry. I... Fuck! So yeah, I don't I don't I don't understand Forbidden Forest. Oh god. What are those is that dynamite? Do I can I hit the space bar for like a Looks like no. Holy shit! He's just dancing. I don't think I've ever seen this before. I don't think I've ever killed that many spiders in this game in my entire life. Did I win? Is it gonna ever stop? Or does it just dance forever? Oh no. Oh shit. Fucking bees. If I shoot an arrow through this geometric door here, do I get a warp zone? Oh, God! Stay over there, let me just take shots. Just, I'll hit you eventually. Oh god, no! No! I like that the music stops here. It's like, hey, look, uh, we only have four channels of audio to work with and we're devoting all of them to this sick fucking bee noise. <sighs> He's just gonna keep dancing.
fuck? Ah! Oh. No, no, no! I'm starting to think that I can see the reason why the forest was forbidden. They had a sign up. They're like, dude, mm, go around. Go around. Go just walk by the airport and, uh,. There's a walkway, there's a lighted path that goes past the airport, around the, around the forest, most importantly. Is this from the same dude as Aztec Challenge? Yeah, I think Cosme made Oz Aztec Challenge, didn't they? Another fucking weird-ass game. What now? Oh shit, it's that fucker! Wait, why does this fucking flying snake have a fucking unicorn horn? Get at me, dog. Oh, God. Oh, God! I like that when it hits him, he freaks out the same way of a spider. He's like, ah, I'm fire! We gotta move, we gotta move. That shot would've hit, too. Thank you, Paul Norman. I'm not making that up. There's, there's a Beyond the Forbidden Forest, isn't there? Isn't there a sequel to it? Let's look. Let's see if I got anything in these directories here. Yeah, Beyond the Forbidden Forest, 1985. Stand by. Stand by. Hold. Hold, please. Say again, you're breaking up. No one needs this. Paul Norman, why? Beyond the Forbidden Forest, uh, there's a strip mall. Uh, they got uh, this is a decent Chinese place. Uh, there's a laundromat, uh, nail salon, and a vet in there. The vet, uh, the vet's not so great. Okay, if I hold the button down, these be these beams on the side go.
And then if I push in a direction, he'll pull the bow. So I want to go whoop. Rrr, rrr. Those fucking trees. Look at that. Well, so far everything's fine. It turns out beyond the Forbidden Forest, it's just like, I don't know, some trees are messed up, but uh, at least there are no fucking hell spiders and hell bees and hell frogs and Trogdor. Right? I don't know. This is going good. And run through that tree. That's weird. I feel like I might be missing something here. Can I go left? Yeah, I can. But I've already gone so far right that... that I would sooner quit than run left. F7? What? Oh. No, I, I'm, I'm playing. Oh, shit! scorpion did that actually happen or are we I'm gonna push f7 again I don't All my nerves here. What? No! That... Shang sung me. Sucked out all my life force.
I don't want to play any more of this. Stood up there at the end. Too scary. Too scary. Let's try something else. Let's try, let's relax. A little something else. Yo, dudes! This is already relaxing me. Hello, Empire. Hey, TSM, Black Rain, Excalibur, Mirage. You know, action, bonsai, one man sensor design, my friends the Dominators, Enigma. You know, of course, of course, Fairlight. Of course, Fairlight. You know, we're gonna not thank Fairlight in your thing. You're not gonna say, hey, Fairlight, hey, hi. Unlimited lives? Sure. Unlimited time? Why not? Unlimited credits? Hey. We're here to see, we're here to experience the magic. Come on now. Come on. Hmm. Doesn't look like it's continuing to load. I'll be back in a sec. this thing load while I was gone? No? Alright, let's try this then instead. Okay, Metro City. What? Oh, come on. Okay, how about... This one. What do you got? So far, so good.
how's things are going over here? Huh. Want to kill the punks with one hit? If yes, then be sure to turn out life plus. Okay. Unlimited lives, yeah. Unlimited credit, yeah. Unlimited time. Let's speed this up. Let's see if we get there. Mike Hager getting eaten by scorpions. Will be Metro City Mayor Mike Hager. Maybe you've heard of him. Norman due to Metro City. This is a hell that we are in now. All right, last version. This one looks like it has locked up and is not loading anymore. So we'll try this one. And then I think we're giving up on final fight. If uh, if one of these doesn't, if this last one doesn't load. Oh God, it's running at warp speed. Let's just Play normal and see. Hey, there we go. Oh God, I should have been cheating. Lost half my life in the in the warp speed while I was loading. Okay, I'm I'm not getting. Take that bread. So if I hit the fire button while moving, he does a jump kick. 
If I just press it, he punches. This sucks. <laughs> Scroll smoothly, though. How do I pick up the thing? Is there. That looks like a thing I can pick up, right? Yeah, does the space bar do anything? Doesn't look like it does. Turns out, one button final fight. Not great. You need two. Oh, there we go. Well, fucking did the pile driver, so. Get, do it. Oh, here's one of these knife fuckers. I wonder if he does the... Oh, what did he, what did he drop? What did Hollywood drop there? Little knife. Uh, knife action. Do him! Get him! Stab him! Something! Alright, we're, we're not going to continue. I, I can't. That, that, is, that is fucking rough. Oh, boy. Not Mike Hager's finest hour. Uh, for sure. Um... Alright, I think I'm going to wrap it up here pretty soon, but... Yeah, all right. So I, I don't know that I can play a full game of this, but um, let's uh, let's give it a go. Power of the seven stars, okay. Great. Sure. Shame on the Ricochet software house. Their tape version of Ghostbusters has the main game freezed we can't tolerate such a treatment to a so cool game so the merciful ian Koo, thank you ian cracked defrozen and plus six trained this game 
for your pleasure. Well, thank you, Ian. Link to some pictures I might appreciate. I don't want to see it's the, no more Garfield fight sticks. We're done. We're, I, I can't. I can't. Infinite lives? I don't even. What? Oh, I guess. Yeah, you kind of do have lives in this game. Yeah, sure. Infinite men. Wait. Infinite energy, why not? Infinite traps, definitely, because why would you ever want to go back? Infinite money, yeah, because I want the best stuff. Start at the Temple of Zul, no. I think if I hit the space bar, it'll just say Ghostbusters again. This is a good ass game. Uh, it's like weirdly deep. It's a Ghostbusters management sim. So if we have infinite money, we should be good. Oh, but if it's infinite money, maybe if it's locked at 10K, maybe I can't get the good car. It's kind of an, almost like a new game plus thing. Yeah. Alright, well we want a PK energy detector. We definitely need the image intensifier because you need to be able to see the ghosts. Marshmallow sensor, I mean you can't you have to you have to have a marshmallow sensor. Ghost bait, we definitely want ghost bait. Uh we have infinite it sounds like we have infinite traps, so I don't really need that. Well we we need a ghost vacuum because you have to suck up the ghosts. Uh when you're driving. Uh you know, three traps would be usually how much I think I would normally get. But since we're cheating here. Okay, that's as deep as you can get on traps. Uh, portable laser confinement system. We probably... I think that's... that let you empty the traps into that, and so you don't have to go back as much. Oh, I can't even put it on, because I'm over full. Whatever. Well, I wonder if I... I guess I can't. How do I take traps off? Oh, well. Okay. We'll go over here. We're driving. We're here. Okay. Time to bust some ghosts. All right. Drop trap. Put one guy here facing that way. Put one guy here facing this way. And pow. Got him. Thank you. All right, now we just wait for the next call, really. And these ghosts will come creeping in from the corners here, and if you touch them while you're here on this planning map, it'll freeze them in place, and then you can suck them up uh, while you're driving. Uh, but every spot you move here is spots you're gonna have to drive when you're going to the call, so if you want to quickly get to the place where the ghost is, yeah, take that. Sucking out them ghosts. Alright. Fuck. 
Once you close them in, you can't move them back out, by the way. <laughs> Which, you'd think that they would just be able to take a step back, but no. If we'd cross the streams, that'd be bad. Alright, well, whatever. This guy is getting slimed. But we have infinite men. Alright, did we freeze that ghost? Alright. I guess it doesn't matter. The only reason you want to freeze the ghost is because you don't want... If he gets to the, the tower at the center where Zul is, it makes that PK energy go up faster. And you kind of want as much time as possible to do this to earn a bunch of money um, before you have to go do the end game stuff. And yes, this song plays the entire time. And anytime you can drive back to Ghostbusters HQ to refill on traps, or if like one of your guys gets slimed or whatever, you can, you know, uh, unslime them. Was the new Ghostbusters movie? I thought I don't know. I thought it was, was alright for what it was. I don't know. I, I enjoyed it. Enjoyed it fine. I wonder if I can just let this go. And get to the end game. If we turn up the speed. What is that? Oh, that's the, the gatekeeper and the key master. Have to meet at the tower, and that's what triggers the end game? Or over the... I thought it was like the PK energy gets over 10,000, and that is what ends the or gets, sends you to the end game. And eventually, the marshmallow man starts showing up and crushing buildings. You know, video game. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah. Me. I don't think I need to refresh because we turned on all those cheats, but... But let's turn the speed up here. So you see when those ghosts get there, yeah, you see the, the energy jumps. Okay, so we got the key master and the gatekeeper roaming the streets. I don't think you can do anything with them. I think they just eventually meet up. I'm not I don't think you can stop them. But we'll just let this energy build. And see if we can get right to the end of the game. Yeah, and see, as the energy picks up, the ghosts start going faster and faster. We're running this at, like, 500% speed, so... Oh, that building's the... I dropped bait. Because I think that's where the... I think if the building changes that color, it means the Marshmallow Man's about to stomp it. Nothing here. Marshmallow alert! Yep. There it is. Marshmallow Man did four thousand dollars worth of damage. That amount will be deducted from your balance. We have infinite money though, so it'll be okay. Let's speed it back up. Okay. So we have to 
So you do that for a long time, you bust ghosts, and then we gotta run through the Marshmallow Man's legs here. Uh, he frowns, he's not happy. And then there's something we do up here at the top to close the portal? Oh, I think that's just the end. I think that's the end. Okay, yeah. There's no video game here, you just have to walk. <laughs> you have to walk between the Marshmallow Man's legs, and then you win. The portal of the spirit world has been closed, and we get an extra $5,000 from the city. Hey, thanks for saving the city from ghosts. Here's $5,000. Write this number down for future play. A little password there if you want to, you know, uh, start and, and use the the uh, the fast car, I guess. That's Ghostbusters. Turns out we finished it. Anyway, yeah, uh, th th that was a cool fucking game in 1984. I mean, it talked for the love of God uh, and just had a lot going on for for what it is, right? You got to drive around the city. You got to do all that stuff. Uh Kind of rad. Uh, I think that might do it for us here. Um, all right, no, one, one more quick one. We'll see if this loads up. This this can't be a real game. This has to be some kind of bootleg fake thing that doesn't public domain weird release. The Great Smurf Massacre. You know what? Because I think they're, I'm going to take this off real quick here and see if there's any nudity in it. Because last time, there, last time we stumbled into some nudity and there was a whole thing. All right, I hit C for like the one that's not Smurfette, and uh, now it's loading up something. Or is it? Did it lock up? Okay, there it goes. I'm still not seeing anything. Black screen. Okay. G.I. Joe 2, the Smurf Massacre. Weapons. One, it's a gun. Two, it's a different gun thing. Three, it's a gun on wheels. Four, a, di a di bomb, I guess. Oh, I pushed four and... That was it. Okay, well, we nuked all the Smurfs, and it, this is it. This is just all it does. Okay. Well, I think... I think that might be it. Congratulations, Mr. Phelps. We nuked all the Smurfs. Everybody have a great Sunday. Thanks for hanging out. And, uh, you know, I'll be around. Figure out this bandwidth thing. I don't know what the hell's going on with this stuff, but it seems stable. Maybe I can pump it back up to 1080 with these Commodore 64 games need every single pixel of that resolution. So we got figured out. <laughs> I'll see you.